do you also have very low end system like 2gb ram very low end processor and sdd in your system so the tiny 10 might be the solution to bring fresh air to your system so in this video i'm gonna go through the complete process like how you can install tiny 10 version 23s2 and how it is working in your system and what's new in version 23s2 so maybe you are new on this channel and you don't know about what is tiny 10 so tiny 10 is stripped down version of windows 10 so you can say windows 10 light version so ntdf developer has developed this iso and customized this iso so he just removed unwanted processes apps and make it more lighter to bring some fresh air to low end system so first thing you need to download the iso from the link in the description after that you need to create the bootable usb so you can see i have inserted my usb drive here i need to download the rufus software to create the bootable usb so just go here all the link in description don't worry about anything just click on rufus so just run this software select the iso which you have downloaded after that you need to check which partition scheme you have otherwise it will not boot up in your system just right click on this windows logo and go to disk management in disk management in which drive you are going to install just right click on that like uh, this one go to properties and go into volumes in volumes you will see here gpt so select this partition here gpt after that just click on start and it will show you some option like customize windows installation like create a local account with username this check all these things and click ok make sure you have backup all the data from your usb drive because it is going to wipe out all the data from the drive okay so let's see what is new in this version like version 23s2 first thing is space efficiency like if you install this iso in your system it will not take much space in your storage device he just optimized the performance of this windows light so you will get the smoother performance whenever you are running on your system and he also resolved the issues which was in earlier build he also improved the compatibility of other software so you can install any extra features features like window media player whenever you want he also bring back dotnet framework 3.5 and he just removed the low used feature like ocr and tablet pc math program okay so these features are not using so he just removed it and he also concerned about security so he just bring back microsoft defender and bitlocker so this is really optimized version so basically you can use any low end system without any kind of problem So now we have successfully created the bootable USB and close it and just remove the USB and insert in the system in which you want to install this tiny 10. So just plug it and press the boot menu key. Boot menu key you will get on a screen. Just press that. You will get here this kind of boot menu. So after that you will see here your USB drive. So just select that. After that you will see here windows setup. So just click here next. Check this box and click next. After that you will see here multiple drives. So you can select any drive in which you want to install like uh, you already installed any windows in your c drive so you need to check like uh, which is my c drive select that and format it first just select that drive and click here next now it is started installing and after that you need to set up your device and you will directly navigate to tiny 10 version 23s2 So now we have installed this tiny 10 click on start menu and you will not see here any bloated app so he just remove all kind of pre-installed apps and make it more and more lighter let's look at the resources usage going to task manager in cpu usage you can see cpu usage is one percent processes is 115 there's no load on cpu whenever it is ideal going to memory section in memory it is taking 1.3 gb so if you have 2 gb ram you can run it and if you have 4 gb ram it will work very very smoothly on your system a resource so this is all very normal no issue at all so okay guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video okay so let me know your thoughts about this tiny 10 in comments